Field Yates and Mike Clay from the Fantasy Focus Football Podcast talking Miami Dolphins for 2017. And Mike, a few weeks ago, Jay Cutler was like you and I. He was a member of the media. Now he is the starter for Miami. Does he carry fantasy relevance this season? No way. You know, maybe a couple, uh, maybe a streaming option once in a while when the matchup's nice, but otherwise this is a very low volume, low scoring offense. They're going to run the ball as much as they possibly can. I just, I I don't have much interest. I think they're going to try to limit him as much as they can. I mean, like you said, he was in the media a few weeks ago. I I don't think the expectations are high. You'll be hard pressed to find someone that does not have Jay Ajayi inside their top 10 rankings for running backs, but it's much easier to find people that think, He's in the top 10, but he's got some bust potential. Is that well-rooted? Yeah, I don't I don't think it is. I don't see a lot to, to be concerned about. Again, the volume's going to be there. It is a very run-heavy offense. The guy was terrific after contact last year, which is close to my heart. Anybody that's uh, moving defenders out of the way on their own, I, I, I'm going to invest in them. So if you can get him in round two, I, go for it. All right, so Jarvis Landry seems to be tried and true. You know he's probably good for 90 or more catches this season. However... Is there a is, is there another Dolphins pass catcher that you say, hmm, kind of interested in? Yeah, Jarvis Landry's targets kind of fell in the second half last year, and then you see Kenny Stills take on more work. But the guy I'm really looking at is Devontae Parker. Jay Cutler has a history of getting the football to Alshon Jeffrey and Brandon Marshall a lot near the goal line. He's already saying great things about Parker. He's in his third year. He's still young. He's a former first-round pick. There's really a lot to like, so we'll see if he fools me for the third year in a row, but Parker's a guy I'm buying into this year. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me through three times, and I'm not sure what they say.